Many people put forth theories that you know we can't prove or disprove, but a lot of them had to do with the possibility of him getting his nose either above the gas or below the gas. I personally don't believe in that because if that had happened, then others would have done the same thing. And to our knowledge, Daniel is the only that survives when others unfortunately passed away. My personal theory is that his incredible attitude really carried him through. And we know that people who are stricken with a disease or a challenge in their life, if they can garnish a great attitude, they have a better chance of getting through it. Well, when you get to know this dog, <laughs> you see he has an incredible attitude. That's my theory of how he survived. And he had a, a purpose, and he's meant to be. And we're fulfilling it now. Um, he is a big miracle. Yes, very much <laughs> absolutely. so. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, Joey Herrick, who is the founder of the Lucy Pet Foundation, has recently tabbed Daniel as the spokes dog for his foundation. Uh, he agreed to it, as did I. I think it's a great idea because what we have noticed in our time in rescue, and I applaud everyone who does anything to save mm -hmm. any animal in any shelter, but that's very reactive. And, you know, what we would like to do is cut this off at the pass before they end up in the shelter. Mm -hmm. So the real thrust of the Lucy Pet Foundation is spay and neuter efforts. Mm -hmm. So I love that, you know, proactive approach. The Rose Parade, which he invited us to as our first effort together, is a way to promote and start to promote this incredible uh, positive effort. And we're thrilled uh, to be a part of it. His preparation took place two years ago when he survived the gas chamber. And he's a miracle. And we're really just looking to promote his story so others can be saved. So really, that's what it's all about. And certainly, as he interacts with other people and other dogs, he continues to help his story grow.